Have you ever had any strange traditions or rituals you've done in your life without knowing the reason why you did them, but you did them just because that's what you did? For me, growing up, one of my chores was to take the kitchen trash out whenever it was full. And when I would replace the trash bag, I added a part um, to that routine, which was putting the styrofoam liner at the bottom of the trash can each and every time. It was one of those styrofoam rectangles that like fresh chicken and ground beef came on when you bought meat from the grocery store. You know those things I'm talking about? So I would put that at the bottom and after we would uh, cook the meat, my mom would wash that styrofoam liner and save them so I could line the trash every time. I actually thought that was a normal thing that every household did, but one day when I was at a friend's house, he was changing the trash and I asked where the styrofoam liner was and he would just look at me all confused. Like, who does that? So one day I finally asked my mom, why do we need to line the trash every time with these styrofoam liners? And she said, well, it's because one time your dad threw something away that was sharp. And when he went to pull the trash bag up, it broke the bag open at the bottom and made a huge mess. So the liner was meant to not ever let that happen again. So knowing the why behind rituals and routines, especially the ones that are handed down, can be super helpful. Exodus chapter 12 verses 1 through 28 gives account to the Passover feast. Here we learn that the blood from a sacrificed lamb was to be put on the top and sides of doorposts because the blood would be a sign on those houses that when God sees that blood, he will pass over that household with his grace and not bring the punishment of death. The people of God were instructed to observe the traditions of the Passover feast for generations to come. And God himself gives the why behind this in verses 26 and 27, which say this, when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Tell them, it is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed down and worshiped. We observe and celebrate the Passover feast now through communion, Jesus' last supper, remembering and refusing to forget that Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, whose sacrifice of his shed blood on the cross is what allows the penalty of sin to pass over us and grants us the gift of eternal life. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for calling us to remember your mercy and your grace. Thank you, Jesus, for freely and lovingly shedding your blood as a sacrifice and ransom for all of us. Help us to remember how your love and grace has saved us and help us to never reduce the remembrance of you to a ritual or routine. In Jesus' name, amen.